What's up, Han, and welcome back to Tiger Talk. Grace, it's so weird how I don't get to see you in school and only through a computer screen. I know. This is not what I pictured our senior year being like. Me neither. It's a little unfair. We don't get the fun senior activities. No pep rally, no senior picnic. I don't even know if we're going to do the senior pig roast. Seriously, I, I just hope we could get some things because having everything taken away would be utterly dreadful. You know what else burns my biscuits? How the juniors get to park in the senior lot. I know, right? Back in my day, we had to run to school from the junior lot. In the snow. I don't even know if these amateurs, these so-called upperclassmen, are mentally or physically prepared to park in the senior lot. Yeah, let's take it over to Michael and Sam to learn more on how to park. Juniors, pay attention. If there's one thing that we all love, it's freedom. Fortunately, the ongoing pandemic has not affected some of the freedoms us students have. The on-campus parking lot, as well as the option to arrive to school late or leave school early, is now available to use for all students, regardless of grade. Unlike previous years, where only seniors were given access to these privileges. We're allowing juniors to park, which I think is a great idea. Uh, something that we batted around before, but the pandemic, uh, obviously, with people not wanting to ride buses and things of that nature has allowed us to do it. So it's a test. We'll see how it works out in terms of capacity for parking and all that stuff. However, this decision did not come without some unrest. Some seniors have mixed emotions about these privileges being available to all grades during their senior year. What do you think about juniors being able to come into school and park in the senior lot? They do have a junior's lot, so they should park there. And also, I feel like it's kind of a privilege for seniors to be parking in the senior lots. We had to pay $300 as juniors to park in the junior lots, and I think that's kind of ridiculous. And now they only have to pay like 60 to park next to us. I think it's okay as long as everyone is being safe and, you know, not stealing each other's spots. And what do you think about all students in the school are able now to come in late and leave early, which is typically a senior privilege? Um, I think it makes sense because of Corona, but I think it's kind of annoying because then we don't really, like as seniors, we don't have anything to look forward to. I don't know. I like the senior privileges, but I feel like everybody should be able to sleep in and leave late. I think it's definitely a loss for us seniors, but it's not something that we should really uh, miss, especially because we're all trying to do our best to stay safe and healthy. I feel like just like we have no privileges as seniors. So what do you think about juniors being able to park in the senior lot this year? Uh, I think it's a class decision. As a junior, I feel like uh, it's the right thing to do. I like it because we don't have to walk. I kind of feel bad for the seniors. Do you guys feel bad for the seniors that all students this year are able to come in late and leave early? Yeah, kind of. It's kind of unfair. I think that it's unfair as well, but how does it really affect the seniors? I think it's very beneficial for the juniors getting to leave early, get some extra sleep, then uh, come to school later. I mean, it kind of sucks for the seniors, but you know, you just got to deal with it sometimes. But with great power comes great responsibility. And those new to the parking lot might benefit from some pointers. With all the new drivers in the parking lot this year, here are some tips and tricks to help you guys succeed in the parking lot. Don't park on an angle. Don't take up two spots. Abide by all traffic signs. Don't park in the senior lot without a sticker. And make sure you don't leave without anything important. Well, the school parking lot, arriving to school late, and leaving school early all come with a bunch of new responsibilities. As the school year goes on and the schedule changes, these privileges could go back to being reserved for seniors only. But for now, these tips and tricks are sure to help. From inside Roche's trunk and outside the Daniel Hand school parking lot, this is Sam Stein reporting. Roche, Roche, what are you doing? Roche, Roche! So, how's online for you today, Grace? Oh, you know, just different. Sometimes I like it. Whenever I don't know an answer to a question, I just pretend to be frozen so I can get out of answering it. You know, I've never tried that. I did once bring my computer to the kitchen, though, and made myself a sandwich in class. I got yelled at, though, because that's against the rules. I wish someone made a comprehensive etiquette guide for Google Meets. Well, 
Hannah, Julie, and Mosmo have just the story for you. At this time last year, no one could have ever imagined that they would be on FaceTime with their teachers for six hours a day. However, due to the outbreak of COVID-19, many schools have opted to use virtual meeting sites such as Zoom and Google Meets. Since March, hand students have become very familiar with Google Meets. Some have even figured out tricks to get around class. What are some things you do to finesse the system in Google Meet? I turn my camera off and say I'm going to the bathroom, but really I just sit on my bed and go on my phone. I, I mean, I, uh, I join in classes. I join when I'm in person. Oh, oh okay, so you don't go to school? No, when I'm in person, I join the class while I'm in the class. Oh, as like a joke. Yeah. Okay. My teacher asked me a question and I didn't know the answer, so I told him that my mic wasn't working. Wait, wait, wait. Don't think you're slick. Teachers have put two and two together and figured out how to combat the lack of participation. It's totally understandable. Um, I really feel for students online. I think it's really challenging. It's a tough spot to be in. I try to actively engage them. I try to call them by name and check in with them at the beginning and end of period. Try to hear from every online kid at every period. We're here to give you some tips on how to be successful during your Google Meet. Do show your face on camera. Do sit at a desk in your own house. Do actively participate. Don't make food. Don't fall asleep. Don't unplug your router. Hopefully the board of ed will allow us to come back full time so students and teachers don't encounter these problems in the future. Make sure to follow our tips to alleviate some of the teacher's stress. From inside of the Google Meet, this is Julie Lawton reporting. Oh wow, the tables have turned. Look who's online now. Joke's on you, because now I know how to diligently participate in an online class environment. I don't know if I'm ever going to get used to seeing half of my classmates through a computer screen. Me too. <laughs> but hey, at least we can see each other safely outside of school. I guess so. Speaking of, you're going to the game tonight, right? Uh, Dewa, bad news. I'm not sure if you heard, but sports are very different this year and spectators aren't allowed. What? I was so excited to go full out for the themes this year. Yeah, well, maybe Nicolette and Reese can inform you more about the changes in sports. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, one defining factor of the hand student body will not be the same, its spirited student section. During the fall sports season, Daniel Hand fans pack the student section while the marching band blares, keeping the energy and sense of community alive. It's definitely a bummer, uh, along with you know, all the other things that we're not able to do this fall. Despite the disappointment of not having Friday night football games, the Tiger Band has been working tirelessly for the COVID safe performance that Mr. Gage has put together on October 29th at Strongfield. To me, it's about the process and you know, and having beautiful moments in rehearsal, not just performances. Um, so they've been great about it, and they're looking forward, now that we have something to work toward, they're looking forward to performing. Along with the loss of the marching band, Captain Scott Testori and the hand soccer team are definitely feeling the effects of the loss of their fan section. The student section provides, like, you know, they give us energy and stuff. To not see anyone in the stands is definitely weird. However, hand students are finding new ways to cheer on their players this season. You know, I've talked to my friends, they're all saying they're watching the games or maybe they're coming to the games standing outside the black fence or streaming the games. So, uh, and I'm getting a lot of encouragement from all my boys. Although the fate of the student section is unclear, one thing that will never waver is the tiger pride that roars through Daniel Hand High School. From outside the gym, this is Reese Gaudelli reporting. Hopefully by the end of the year, things will be different and we can maybe watch spring sports. I sure hope so. I really don't want the $500 of air horns I bought to go to waste. Yeah, me neither. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Danny Hand. See you next week for more Tiger Talk.